She worked those doubles, too, every time they'd ask her. Oh, it was tiring work. How your hands hurt at the end of the day. When it's cold outside, forget it. Hmm. Deep in your bones. I still got trouble tying my shoes now because of it. You were lucky to get out of that factory when you did, Billy. You had your chance to get out, too, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, well. What? What's so funny? What, he never told you? I don't know what. Told me what? Come on now, Billy. What? Now you got to tell me. Well, and when your father got out of the army, when was it? The 67? Anyway, he got out before the summertime. And so he got a job at the wire factory. Well, half the town worked there. That's just where you worked. But he had the G.I. Bill. They were going to pay for him to go to college that fall. All he had to do was show up for his interview at Boston University, fill out the form, and sign on the dotted line. Really? Dad, you never told me this. So true, he was going to go for civil engineering. Billy. Engineering? Dad, why don't you tell me this? Maybe I thought I should set a better example for my kids. I mean, that college stuff would have been too hard for me anyways. That's more your kind of thing, Billy, right? right? I mean, they would have sent me out of my ass as soon as I got there. <sighs> Never ask for more than you have a right to expect, my dear mother always used to say. I live by that. You don't think we should tell the kids? Why do you want to worry him, Colleen? There's no sense warning him, especially Kevin. He's got enough on his mind with his job and everything. But you know Kevin. He'd want to know. Well, tell them when I'm good and ready and not before. You understand me? We'll get the test results and then we'll see. Hmm. <laughs>